So the day of the exam, you take the test individually. And then once you finish with the test, you, come, you sit back down with your test, you know, just the answers. And as your group, you go back through it and you answer the, the quiz again. And I average those two grades. And that in order to keep doing that, you have to have made an individual score of 70 so that you just can't, you know, sponge off of everybody else. So that means for the next exam, if your individual grade wasn't a 70, you cannot participate. And if your individual grade is higher than the group average, you keep your individual score. So the way I use it, they're over there talking about the subject matter again. They're, you know, this is why I think, and because I want them to know the material. Right. Yeah. So, so that's, that's, that's good. That's good. Um, Our classmate added the idea of brainstorming, which is kind of what you're talking about, and uh, other inputs to complete their knowledge of that certain topic. Uh, numbers and group papers. Um, I, I guess it's kind of what we're doing right now. So mm -hmm. instead of uh, uh, so we have a group paper. A wonderful way for students to think about the writing process. You know, some some students um, have had that writing uh, course, but it's good to refresh. And not many students are aware of how complex the writing paper is. You're writing a six-page document. How do I put six pages uh, together? And so maybe this group paper can work together. Um, working in groups help people learn about other people and uh, other viewpoints, which I find pretty amazing. All right, and then um, just overall, uh, the teacher-student relationship should be a positive one. We are their uh, allies, and sometimes they're not sure about that. Nobody is perfect, and we're all about continuing to learn throughout our life experience. Creating this relationship is imperative for, again, a positive working experience for the instructor and lifelong impact on students. Anyone has the power to make um, a positive difference in someone's life. Why not? Why not you? That is a community of learners. Oh, no, I good. Water. Yeah. Oh, oh, that kind of drink. Yeah, yeah. And the, uh, <laughs> you guys did good. For the, for the rest of you, was there any one or two things that stood out? Anything that uh, you sure. thought that was, that was something new or something that uh, you want to try or something that you know you learned? I mean, I just want some feedback from the rest of the group. Probably the group quiz idea, actually. Yeah, I'll let the Well. I would just like to bring up that a lot of those activities that they describe can be used in an online environment. I get it. Well. Mm -hmm. So it's a good thing that you know you can, if you decide to teach online, you can transfer those activities to the online environment. Uh, thank you. I like the point you know, where uh, we were talking about how you give the point for every time they send you an email back, you know. Because I, I like what you say, there's several students that don't, you know, utilize the email and try to communicate with them and go, like, oh, I, I know what a lot of email is. Really? Are you kidding? So I do like that point system. I have one that do that. Who's students, you know, Friday was a golf tournament, so I'm like, I'll put everything online. Since you got the email, he's like, well, he's asking me this question. I said, stand in this corner right there, pull up your email, read your email, and then we have questions. Come back over here and talk to me. He's like, oh. <laughs> 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 read the email. Send it to you. Very good. Okay, group number two. Um, come on up. Yeah, I know. Thank you, ladies. Thank you for helping us. Thank you. 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 Thank you